Hey there action figure collectors, pop culture lovers and comic fans out there, you watch Ghazali's reviews. This is Ghazali and today I'll be reviewing Unmasked Variant Catwoman or should I say Selena Kyle from the Batman 2022 movie by McFarlane Toys. So first thing first, moving towards the packaging which is a window box packaging as usual. The figure can be seen clearly inside along with all the relevant accessories and stuff. Here's the age, age restriction mark, here's the DC Multiverse logo, here's the Batman logo and at the very bottom here it is written Selena Kyle Unmasked. And uh, on this side here again on top the Batman logo, Selena Kyle Unmasked, the Batman written with bull letters. And on the other side, the same stuff, DC Multiverse logo, Selena Kyle and Mast, written with blue. At the bottom here is the McFarlane Toys logo. And uh, at the back side here, we can see the massive image of a figure in a dynamic pose. Nothing important here, just some references that we can follow McFarlane Toys on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram here. Which is not much visible here. So, nothing important at the bottom here. So that's it for the packaging. Let's rip this package open and take a look what actually lies within them. Stay tuned. So finally here it is uh, Unmasked Catwoman or uh, Selena Kyle out of the packaging and she comes with uh, very basic uh, accessories which includes a wrapped up whip, a display base and uh, a trading card with the same image that we have seen on the box uh, with a brief bio of the character so that's it for the accessories which I think are way too much limited I wish they could also give us uh, an open whip anyways uh, moving towards the figure and I think it's a good looking figure captures the likeness uh, of the character from the movie and actually captures the likeness uh, of Zoe Kravitz as we have seen her in the movie see so anyways this is the front view this is the side view and this is the rear view of uh, Catwoman action figure. So let's talk about the articulation. Her head moves left and right. She can look upward that much, downward that much. There's a neck pivoting here as well. The arms move back and forth, outward that much. There's also a butterfly joint here. And uh, there's also a bicep swivel here as well. Double jointed elbows. There is also a swivel in the wrist as well as up and down hinge motion and then there is a diaphragm joint here. She can lean back and forth side to side. There is also a ball joint in the waist here. See? Which is a bit stiff in my figure. And then moving towards the legs. The legs can kick forward that much, backward that much outward that much. There is also a swivel in the upper thigh section here. The knees are double jointed. And uh, finally moving towards the feet. There is a swivel in the feet here as well as uh, ankle pivoting and uh, up and down hinge motion. And finally this to articulation. So that's it for the total articulation in this uh, Catwoman action figure. For some height comparisons here it is Zoe Kravitz Catwoman side by side with the other versions of Catwoman such as this uh, new 52 version of Catwoman, Catwoman from Arkham Knight video game and Catwoman from Arkham City video game. All of these uh, four Catwoman are of a 7 inch scale. These three Catwoman, the new 52 version, the Arkham Knight and Arkham City version has been manufactured by DC Direct or DC Collectibles. One more comparison here it is Zoe Kravitz Catwoman side by side with Batman from Batman Begins movie and uh, Batman from you know the overall The Dark Knight trilogy and Batman from Arkham Origins video game and uh, Marvel Select Iron Man from uh, Captain America Civil War movie. All of these figures are also of 7 inch scale. This Batman has been manufactured by NECA. 
This Batman has been manufactured by McFarlane Toys. This Batman has been manufactured by DC Direct or DC Collectibles. While this Iron Man has been manufactured by Diamond Select Toys. That's my review folks. Hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. And if you have already been subscribed, just hit the bell icon so you never miss any videos from Ghazali's reviews. You can also follow Ghazali's reviews on Facebook as well. Link is in the description below. So until next time, this is Ghazali over and out.